In fact, cybersecurity is a conversation about risk management. Uh, this approach is uh, is very similar to the standard conversation that is happening around physical security. Each organization needs to assess the level of risk coming from the outside or the inside, then work with their security vendors and consultants to figure out where to add layers of defenses and which of them make sense in their en environment. When uh, Evaluating the level of risk imply, uh, we can start from a basic calculation. So risk is basically the probability of something bad happening times the impact if that ever happened. This formula applies to cybersecurity as well. So before putting new security equipments on, on your network or uh, installing new software, you should ask yourself, how does it, does it affect your risk level? Then the next question is, how much risk are you willing to live with and how are you going to reach that acceptable level? Let's uh, break that down a little bit. First, uh, we'll see what kind of impacts on, on, uh, on cyber attack uh, the, we, we can have on, a, on, on any organization. Cyber threats are unforgiving and so are the customer when their trust is broken. Organization can be affected on many levels at the same time, such as uh, loss of private data. So important data loss can affect the lives of people, employees and customer, but also companies uh, as the intellectual property of business uh, can be stolen. Then, uh, non-complying business may uh, may face fines, sanctions, and class action suits. Those are more and more significant as new rules are being applied. Routine business operations can be uh, severely dis disrupted and employees may not be able to work normally for weeks or months following an attack. A breach in this interconnected world uh, can cause serious harm to people and directly compromise physical security. A few hours of disruption could have a huge impact on the life of people in uh, the government, transportation, medical sector, or any other uh, critical infrastructure like that. And we've seen this uh, in the past. And finally, reputational damage. This is hard to measure, but it's probably also harder to recover from. Uh, it, it can cause a bankrupt, bankruptcy in certain cases. Even more negative impacts uh, when it's poorly handled by the company. With social media, the news spread quickly. If a data breach is handled poorly by a company, people will not hesitate to bash uh, that company to bring it down even more. The second part of the equation is the probability. Cyber attackers are more sophisticated and organized than ever before, and therefore the surface of attacks keeps on an, a, expanding. This is an, an essentially an increase in the probability variable in this equation. It is also more uh, probable that bad things will happen to your installation if you remain still and do not adapt your risk mitigation strategy. So. We're seeing that the probability of cyber incident have skyrocketed in the in the last few years. As opposed to physical security, the geographical boundaries are almost non-existent when it comes to cyber attacks. What we mean by a expanding attack surface is that uh, sensitive data shared between people and system grow uh, exponentially years over years. The same thing goes for the amount of uh, connecting, connected things interacting between each other. There is more people accessing all of those things and the data that is contained and, and, and produced by them. So the probability of something bad happening will be effectively uh, reduced by the amount of protection layer that you put in place and the strengths of each and every layer within a system or a network. This is called defense in depth. Here you can also treat best practices and uh, education as extra layer of protection. 